Todoroki always understood he was very close friends with you. Like he knew that he was close with you and Yamamo and Deku and Jiro and Bakugo, but he didn't think it was anything different with you than it was with them. He did feel soft towards you and treated you slightly different than everyone else, but just thought it was because he felt closer to you and got along more with you than the others. It wasn't until a certain event that he really realized he liked you. You were going out on a field training session with some pro heroes and it had all gone awry. Aizawa had kept everyone in the UA building and it wasn't until Aoyama notified everyone that the villain breakout was near where you were working that Todoroki felt his heart drop. He instantly paled and his quirk activating slightly and making the room a bit colder. He kept calling you and texting you with to no avail, but Todoroki felt himself go deeper down a hole of concern every time he wouldn't get a response. He felt very upset that he couldn't be there to assist with his own abilities. Todoroki, why are you so upset? Listener can take care of himself, Jiro said, exchanging a glance with Yaoyorozu. I'm not upset, he gritted out, concentrating on the livestream of the event on his phone. Jiro and Yamamo were suspicious, but they didn't say too much at the time since Todoroki was already freaking out as it was. At the time, he dismissed it as reasonable worry and concern for a close friend. He thought everybody was having the same internal crisis he was. But as he continued observing the people around the room, he was shocked that he was the only one having such a deep reaction to the news. Even when they found out you were okay, just a few broken bones and scratches, he felt concern and relief and a mix of emotions he genuinely didn't know how to explain. Todoroki was definitely thinking hard on this, thinking about if he ever felt that way about Bakugo or Deku or one of his other friends being involved with villains. Of course he was concerned and wanted to do his best to help them, but he felt a depth of concern for you that he realized he didn't think of you just as a close friend. It was finally when Yayorozu asked him that he had a word for it. Todoroki found out he had a deep crush on you. He'd heard Mina and Hayakure speaking about crushes, but never put it together that they meant a romantic attraction. And even though it was a desperate situation, Todoroki would find out he likes you on a deeper level from a form of distress. Todoroki had a hard past and healthy relationships are still a growing concept for him. Bakugo isn't emotionally dumb like at all. He knows what emotions are, but he just has a really bad reaction to certain positive reactions. On top of that, well, he knows certain positive emotions, he either it just ignores them or acts on them in a way that most people wouldn't. His mom is shown to be really harsh on him, and even though she loves him, Matsuki isn't gentle, so naturally Bakugo isn't going to be gentle with how he reacts to insecurities and softer emotions. So for Bakugo, realizing he likes you is definitely a trip. From the beginning of your friendship, Bakugo will realize that he's feeling something a little more for you. He's not dumb, but he is a bit in denial at first, because he just feels insecure in something he doesn't completely know how to do yet. But even so, Bakugo will not act any different with you, even though he's a bit wary of the tightness in its chest when you're close with Kirishima and Kaminari and Sero or the warm feeling he has whenever you laugh. This man does not and will not sugarcoat anything. Through his denial, he'll come to a certain point where he realizes that he can't keep hiding his feelings for you. One time, you and the rest of the Baku squad were hanging out just normal Baku squad shenanigans. The sun was setting and Mina was leading you guys up to an area where she used to go in middle school, where you guys could see over the entire city. Bakugo acted as if he didn't want to go, but you dragged him along, as if he wouldn't have went anyways. And you guys watched the sunset in hues of orange and red and pink. When Bakugo looked over to you, with your face alight with the light, he just knew. Bakugo knew he couldn't keep pretending like he didn't have feelings for you, because at that moment, he felt really contented, even though he was unsure of how to act or operate in a relationship. It wasn't too soon after he saw you so happy that he realized he wanted to see you more like that, and have the satisfaction to be the person to put a smile on your face. That being said, he's not as gentle asking you out, but it's not that you mind anyways. Shinso, on the other hand, is very cautious about the people around him. Shinso's kinda quiet, but he's cautious about opening up and being vulnerable because 
of getting hurt when he was younger about his quirk. That being said, he makes fast friends with you and gets along with you very well. Shinso, like Bakugo, would realize that he does feel something more for you. You two were hanging out in Shinso's dorm room, watching a movie. Because of Shinso's quirk, he'd get headaches behind his eyes, or his eyes would get irritated, so he'll have to use an Advil or eye drops or something like that. He doesn't say anything about it, but Shinso would just quietly get up and get his medicine after rubbing his eyes or his temples. This time, though, Shinso wasn't expecting what happened next. You picked up on his tells whenever he was in pain, and when Shinso saw you coming back to his dorm room with a pack of eye drops, Advil, and a glass of water, he just understood. Shinso understood that you wouldn't treat him worse than he was vulnerable or try to treat him like he was a villain or anything of the sort, because you genuinely cared for him. No words had to be exchanged between you two as you handed the medicine and water, but you could tell that he was surprised just by the quirk of his eyebrows. He was really nervous about how to confess to you, and ended up asking Kaminari and Ojiro for help. Hey guys, um, I know today's a shorter video, and I promised the other part to the Shinso one, but me and my dumb brain didn't read the second part, I just saw that there was a second part, and the second part is a little spicy, and um, I live in a family um, house, that's what any house has, okay. never mind, uh, has um, family, and I don't want them to hear me reading that. It's nothing horrible, it's just implied stuff that my mom or dad would pick up on, so um, not doing that today. So if you do want to read that, it's in the description of the other video. Um, I put it down there earlier today because I was planning to film a lot earlier today and post a lot earlier today, but plans came up, but so yeah. Um, I hope you guys like this multi-character one. Uh, I wanted to do something to make up for that, so I wanted to do a multi-character one. Although it was shorter, it was a short. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It was on the shorter side. I'm sorry, I can't talk after recording. Um, for some reason, my brain kind of turns off. Um, I think that was all I wanted to say. Oh, go check out my Instagram because that's where I post updates. That's where I posted the update about the second part. Um, updates about the channel, stuff like that. Plus I post some other stuff there, or I'm planning to post some other stuff there. And my next video will probably won't be a fan fiction. Um, it'll be like an art kind of video. Hopefully if I get that up, or I'll be working on that, and then I'll post another fan fiction. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna work, do this twice a week and do one on Wednesdays, or if I'm going to do whenever I can post. So like, some weeks there might be four, some weeks there only might be two, some weeks there might be three. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet. So yeah, uh, check the description for the art that I used in the video, the fan fiction, um, and the background music. Um, just in case you guys wanted to want read or see who made the beautiful works of art or where I found them. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, with all that said, have a great day. Don't forget I'm the Lady Otaku!